As I mentioned, we'll be talking with some more king and queen candidates in the next couple of weeks. We'll also be talking more about AIDS help. Now, in the early days of the HIV AIDS epidemic, advocates were really just committed to raising awareness about this global challenge. Today, advocates have the goal of making the next generation HIV and AIDS free. This vision is becoming more of a reality thanks to new treatment and prevention programs and organizations like AIDS Help. Scott, thank you so much for being on with me today. Thank you so much for having me. All right. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, it's a pleasure having you here. And now, Scott, when did you first get involved with AIDS Help? Uh, I first got involved with AIDS Help back in 1996 when I first moved to Key West. So uh, I was already a volunteer with an organization in North Carolina uh, called the Triad Health Project. Uh, so I had worked with the disease early on. Uh, so when I moved to Key West, I was looking for an organization that um, was um, for, HIV, for people living with HIV AIDS. Um, so AIDS Help, I started as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, then I became the volunteer coordinator. And then over the years, I uh, joined the organization through its uh, housing programs and housing case management and their property management and on to deputy director and now executive director. So I've worn several hats at the organization over the years. Well, that's great because then that way you really know this organization upside down. And Scott, how would you say that the face of HIV and AIDS has changed over the years you've been down here in Key West? The, the face has changed changed very much with the challenges that we're now facing. Uh, like you mentioned early on, in the early years, uh, we didn't know really what the challenges were. We were more, more in tune with uh, trying to find treatments for the disease. In the early days, we had various types of treatments that we uh, were more of a trial. Uh, people were not, people living with HIV AIDS were not living long, a long period of time, usually a span of probably about five to six years. Um, that has dramatically changed over the years with improved medications that are now keeping people living longer with HIV AIDS. Um, the challenge today is that the side effects of these medications lead to other chronic illnesses such as liver disease, kidney disease, heart failure, um, those types of things. Um, it basically, the, the medication is keeping the body constantly inflamed um, for someone living with AIDS. So they're more prone to these types of other chronic illnesses much earlier in life than someone who is living without the disease. Uh, mm -hmm. pr problems with other chronic illnesses that normally would happen to, to you in your 70s or later in life. Mm -hmm. um, so that is the challenge for us today is to provide the necessary support systems uh, for people that are living with AIDS and who have lived with AIDS now, f we're talking 15 and 20 years. So that's mm -hmm. really how the face has really changed from that five year window to now to a 15, 20 year, well into their senior years. Mm -hmm. So the agency has a challenge of not only providing those supportive services, but how do we care for them when they reach those senior years, such as assisted living programs, assisted housing programs. So the challenge is great. Um, the good news is that people are living longer. Right, that definitely. That is the that good, is news. good news. So now since that's news, you know, that that's a new thing that's taken place, people are living longer, not really as much of a challenge anymore, why is it still so important then to continue getting money to organizations like yourself? Well, the, the need is greater because of the chronic, other chronic illnesses and living longer. That's one. Mm -hmm. Two is foundation funding, uh, state funding, federal funding, whether we want to call it a physical cliff, a sequester, or whatever, the funding is just drying up. Um, it's becoming harder and harder to get. Uh, that's one reason. The other reason is that the longer we have the face of AIDS with us, it is now starting to be categorized as another chronic illness. It's starting to be categorized as any other chronic illness with such as diabetes, uh, leukemia, cancer. So it makes the competition 
that much harder mm -hmm. uh, for funding. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, it's, it's a multi-leveled, complex uh, funding nightmare. Mm -hmm. um, so that's why we really need the, the community support. And AIDS Help has been very fortunate and to have the community support for some 27 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, the AIDS Help was started from a, gr a small group of uh, concerned citizens like many other aid service organizations, uh, but we're still here. Mm -hmm. Many of our other uh, aid service organization friends throughout the state have folded. Mm -hmm. They're no longer around because of such cuts uh, from federal funding and grants. Um, that sort of thing. So the community support, the King and Queen campaign mm -hmm. is vital to the agency's operation and its continued mission in order to provide those supportive services uh, for people not only living with the disease but also for prevention. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't want you as a client, I often say. Um, and how do, I, how do we as an agency promote that? We have to be more involved with our young people uh, Monroe County has the largest binge drinking uh, statistics for people in our high school, for students, and usually that leads to other riskier behavior. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've got to start earlier. We've got to uh, be in touch with our young people and making them aware not only of HIV, but also of other uh, sexually tra transmitted diseases. Absolutely. Um, so we have to be comfortable about talking about sex. We have to be comfortable about saying the word AIDS. Even today, people have a very difficult time saying the word AIDS because they still associate the stigma that is still attached to it. Mm -hmm. People that are test positive for HIV still have a difficult time telling their partner that they are HIV or a family member, uh, unlike any other chronic disease, such as diabetes or high blood pressure, does not come with that type of stigma. Right. Um, so that's why it's critical for AIDS help to still be in the community, to be out in the community. And I oftentimes call our candidates uh, ambassadors to AIDS help because they are, they are out there for eight weeks. Most of our organizational fundraisings are usually just for one evening. Um, or our organizations are, our organization is out in the community at testing sites and that sort of thing. But these four candidates are out there for eight weeks spreading the message of awareness being, I consider that to be the key component of the campaign, is raising awareness that one, AIDS is still with us um, and that not only is it with us but we also have an agency that has changed. We've had to change and catch up with the disease, um, and it's always changing. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, it, I think it's critical on that level to make awareness the focal point mm -hmm. of the campaign. Uh, certainly the money. I would sit here and say, oh, no, we don't want the funding. But we have to have, we have, to have the funding in order to continue the uh, supportive services, but also for every dollar we raise, we're able to draw down five dollars uh, from federal, state, and foundation funding, which is part of the leverage funds in order for us to even apply for such grants uh, in order to continue the mission of the agency. Well, so, fu so funding is very critical. It absolutely is, and it, it's critical to keep your amazing organization alive, and I hope that this Fantasy Fest campaign is very successful. I think it's looking up to be because you've got some great campaigns. It has a lot of energy. <laughs> I've been to a lot of, uh, a lot of the uh, events, and if you want to uh, know what the, the, the great, the best place to look for the events and what's going on with the campaign is on the website, on our website at um, aidshelp.cc. There is always updated on what events are going on. So um, some Check of them out. are very, very creative, mm -hmm. uh, but there's a lot of high energy out there and it's a lot of fun. It absolutely is. Well, Scott, thank you so much thank for being you. on with me this morning and joining me. All I right. look forward to talking more with you in the future about your changing organization. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.